welcome to season two of the Cedric Lewis My NBA Career. And we're going to be starting off this season against the newly added Seattle Sonics, not Super Sonics, Seattle Sonics led by 89 overall DeMar DeRozan, Bucevic, and Bronny James. That is correct. Bronny James was drafted by the Sonics with the fifth overall pick. This is the team we're going to be going up against. I have already played five games. We were 4-0. I played every single one of these games. We lost by three to the Spurs. You want to know why? Uh, we were down by like 20 or something. Every time I was in the game, I got it close. As you can see, we were down by four in the first quarter. Went down by seven. So we were down by 11 at halftime. Down by, what is that? Down by 15 at the start of the fourth quarter. And as you can see, we outscored them by 12 points in the fourth I, I would put it up on the screen right now, but I don't feel like editing that. But, as you see, Malachi Branham just wasn't missing. All he did was shoot, and he wasn't missing. I had 70. I had 70 points, 7 rebounds, 14 assists, 5 steals, and we lost. I was 9 for 10 from downtown, and we lost. Want to know how we lost? Maybe I'll put the clip up. I probably won't. But there was an inbound pass. We were down by, I think, 2 or 1. And instead of inbounding it to LaMelo, whoever was inbounding it threw it all the way down court to me, missed me. It was a steal that led to up points. And that's, a, that's essentially how we lost the game. So, yep. And then LaMelo with his pat in it, 6 for 16. Uh, and no one else did anything. So, anyways, enough with that. We are facing the Sonics. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the teams we'll be facing in Season 2. So, the teams we'll be facing in Season 2 will be the Sonics, which we'll see today. The Washington Wizards, which as you can see is a Christmas Day game. Uh, the Los Angeles Clippers, who added Fred Van Vliet in free agency, so that team is really good now. Um, the Mavericks, who we did not face last year, and I will not be facing duplicate teams besides um, the Miami Heat, who I thought I added here. Did I not add the Heat? I didn't. I thought I had the Heat in here because I wanted to have a Eastern Conference Finals rematch. That might be a game we just add on, not going to lie, because I really thought I had the Heat in here, but I guess we don't. Uh, so yeah, I didn't want to have duplicate teams. So Mavericks, uh, we face in Game 4. Game 5, we'll be facing the Warriors. Uh, the Scouts will be in Game 6, and the Grizzlies on the literal last game of the season. I might throw in the Heat there, uh, so we have that Eastern Conference Finals rematch, but we'll see how the standings work out. We might see them in the first round. Anyways, let's hop into this game against the Sonics, but first, let's look at the roster. This is what this Hornets roster is looking like going into season number two. We added Ty Jones, if you know, uh, in free agency, the CPU signing, which I think is a great signing, but we traded for Mike Conley. So, I only have one trade, and that trade is going to be for a small forward eventually later on in the season, because my god, you have Kenridge Williams and Max Struess, which is just an awful, in 2K, in 2K, in real life, it would be actually pretty decent. But in 2K, it's an awful group to have as your starting small forward. So that is our only position of need here. We're going to monitor the bad teams. And as you know, um, if a team is being is bad and they have like a star player, I'm most likely going to trade that star player. I'm going to have full control over this league. So as you know, last season, I traded DeMar and Zach Levine to different teams. I traded Bradley Beal to the Knicks, etc. Enough talking. Let's hop into this game one in Seattle against the Sonics. Here we are, basketball is back in Seattle, Washington. The Sonics hosting the Charlotte Hornets here. Four and one Hornets, one and six Sonics. These Sonics and uh, scout games should be give, give me games, it should be easy, but you never know. Uh, they, but the reason why I picked this iteration of the Sonics is their jerseys are gorgeous. I love the white logo and the court is fantastic as you're gonna see. It's just fantastic. Look at that, that, that logo is so clean with the white. It's such a nice touch. I love the jersey with it going across. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful. And that's why I picked this iteration of the Sonics. And I picked the Sonics over the Super Sonics because, I mean, if they're going to be added to the league, that's what they're going to be. And Cedric starting off with the three. And that was bars, bro. If they're getting added to the league, that's what it's going to be. Also, the arena, I don't know if you saw, it's called the Climate Pledge Arena. I don't know what that is. I'm guarding Kobe Buford. I might put myself on DeMar DeRozan because this dude's a 74 overall rookie. Ronnie James from downtown. It's good. Ronnie James starts it off with a three. Another thing I got to do is in the offseason, 
I need to realign the uh, teams because the Grizzlies are now in East, which they probably should be in the Eastern Conference. Uh, but yeah, the Grizzlies are in the Eastern Conference and they moved the Kansas City Scouts to the West. So I wanted the Scouts to be in the East and I wanted to leave everything else the same. So in the offseason, I got to make sure to realign the league and put the Scouts in the Eastern Conference as DeMar going to miss that jump hook. We're on the break here. Ronnie James, don't even try. Cedric to the basket's got all, not all, has nine of 11 points. And I'm going to sub out. I'm picking up my second foul because, you know, 90-something uh, steal rating and you can't steal the ball. Only up by six, though. It's a fairly close game, but you know how this Hornets team is. We hit that second half of that fourth quarter, and it turns into a complete blowout. Lamelo, do you not know how to uh, wait and sit on, um, take a screen? Like, come on, man. J Jeremy? That's a bucket. That's another three. That's three in the game. Cedric's up to 17 points. Extends the lead to nine. And the Hornets are looking to pull away in this first half. I'm not sure what DeMar is doing. He is just dribble god right now. I know he's the mid-range god, but all that just to miss? He did all those dribble moves to brick the shot. That's that's something else. I need to dribble moves too, but I'm actually going to create something here. And I'm not going to create nothing. DeAndre Ayton. Oh, I'm sorry, Lamelo. I kind of just pulled him out of that shot. All right, Ayton. Welcome to the NBA, Bronny. Try guarding DeAndre Ayton. We're shooting 70% from the field, bro. That's insane. All right, I'm going to sub that here. Up by 15, most likely heading into halftime. Uh, we are up by 15, actually, right? Yeah, I'm no, still up by 15. Just 73 to 58 looks like such a bigger deficit just looking at it. Is that just me? You know, the funny thing is, the Sonics actually had a pretty decent first half. 58 points on 46% shooting as a team. That's a good first half of basketball. It just sucks that the Charlotte Hornets have been completely unhinged right now, and Cedric Lewis is about to get 27. I don't know if I even got credited with that skill. Jeremy Grant, 5-5. Five five. I've been enjoying playing with him more, using him as a pick-and-roll guy and not a pick-and-pop, or just dishing him uh, open shots. If he's in the paint, he can actually finish pretty solidly. I just noticed my mic for some reason. It's not as loud. I might need to turn that up. Yeah, he's actually a pretty solid um, paint offensive player as Vucevic is going to have to take a bad shot. Give me that rebound. Nope. Okay, I'll stick with my one rebound. Uh, give it up to LaMelo. Kick it back, LaMelo. Yeah, waited too long, but it's still a bucket. Bro, Lamar is just clanking every shot he takes. He's taking three straight threes. They've all been bad ones, and I am just cooking him. Jeremy Grant, I'm cooking this whole team offensively, whether it's scoring or passing. 65% in the first half, 75 in the second half. They have no answer for the Charlotte Hornets. I don't know why I'm celebrating, though. This is not a good Sonics team. This team is pretty poor as Vucevic shuts me up, hitting the mid-range. Give me that. That's a yoink. I didn't even mean to steal it. Give it up to LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball. Oh, you should have threw me a lob. I still make that somehow. I call for a lob, and he didn't throw it, man. We're going to hold for the last shot of the third quarter. We're up by nearly 30 and wow the ball just hit Steven Adams in the face on that foul and at the end of these free throws I have yet to miss free throw all season by the way I think I might have missed one I might have missed one I kind of want to check that now hold on one second I have yet to miss a single free throw this entire season as we are going to have a 30 point lead on the Seattle Sonics heading into, a, we are gonna have a 28 point lead on the Seattle Sonics heading in to the fourth quarter. I'm most likely gonna have 50 because they're not gonna eventually the whole fourth. Right, I'm gonna subbed out here at the start of the fourth quarter, a minute in, up by 27. I'm the player of the game already. There are five minutes left, I, I can get 50. Can I get 50? I got Kobe Buford on me, the rookie. They're gonna double team me because Kendrick Williams decided to walk right next to me. Like, what are you doing, dude? Get away from me. Get away from me. Right at him. That's a foul. And this shot right here will make me 11 of 11 from the free throw line. And 50 points. It's in the books. It's over. I think this is my third or fourth 50-plus point game of the season. Time winding down. I just noticed that the stadium is basically empty, bro. Look, there ain't no one here no more. We're going to beat 
the Seattle Sonics 136 to 109. A good old classic beatdown. Cedric Lewis had 59 points and 11 assists and knocked down a few threes on top of that. Bronny James was not enough. Final box score for the Sonics. Pretty good showing from their three starters. Uh, DeRozan had 33 points on. Pretty efficient from the field. Not great from three. Because uh, he was struggling from the field to start. But I guess he just turned it up a little bit when the game was already over. Uh, Vucevic had 24 points but only three rebounds. Shot below 50%. Uh, Bronny. Really good game. They played so many minutes. To start. Bro, their starters played basically the entire game I just noticed. Who is their coach? Tom Thibodeau? Their starting lineup played essentially the entire game. Besides two minutes, I think is all. Wow, that's insane. Bronny had 23 and 10. Uh, Buford at 12. No wonder why they had such high scores. They they only played. They were the only guys who played. Uh, Cedric Lewis in 28 minutes had 59 points. Only two steals. Only missed six shots on the entire night. I missed one three. It was in the corner. And it was a perfect release. But they didn't give it to me. It was that excuse of, oh, slightly early when it wasn't. Aiton had 22 points with three blocks. Only missed one shot all night. Jeremy Grant had 16 and three steals, not missing a single shot. You want to know why? He didn't attempt any threes. So Jeremy Grant might survive the trade deadline. Not going to lie. I've been actually enjoying the pick and roll game with him. Brandon Boston had 13 off the bench. Tyus Jones had 11 off the bench. Shot poor, though. Uh, Nick Richards, 6 and 9. And Lamelle Ball, once again, cannot score for the life of him. But I had 12 assists, so I'll take it. No turnovers. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.